Inside this box here is some standing desk legs. This video is going to be about me converting the desk I'm using currently from a you know standard four post desk to a technically two post but standing desk so that I can do some rather interesting stuff with uh, the footage I do and obviously just how I present videos if I fancy. Um, this isn't the standard you know reason that you would use a standing desk and we'll talk about that later but the format of this video is going to be that I'm going to give you a quick blurb about what we're going to do and then we're going to go and actually build it uh, and then we're going to deal with the PC that's attached to the bottom of this desk and kind of rework that a little bit so that it still fits once the standing desk uh, legs are in place and then uh, kind of talk through why you might want it and all that sort of stuff and uh, a bit of a conclusion some nice shots and then round it out so that's the the general format here now the legs that are in this box here are from Flexbot and I think that's their web address you can check them out so I'll leave a link in the description down below as well they did provide these legs for me to use so bear that in mind this isn't sponsored though they just provided them for you know review sample purposes as usual um, but otherwise as I said we're going to be actually building it and um, dealing with the PC that's under here uh, and then going from there and if you uh, want to skip to any of the parts I'll leave some time codes probably over that side um, where you can jump to the different bits but um, let's get into actually taking this out of the box assembling the legs and then getting to work on converting the standard table into a standing desk one. So to run you through the assembly the first thing to do is attach the feet to the standing desk leg. Uh, that's pretty easy, just four screws per leg. You'll then want to attach the cross member that holds the two legs to each other, and then attach the cross braces and the arm that lets the motor turn both legs. Next up, I'm actually dealing with the under desk PC, which actually involves removing everything first so I can get at the board that is screwed to the desk. And then I'm going to adjust the legs to be the right width so they actually fit under here. This is kind of the key points. And then go through and put them on and place everything how I want it, making sure that the under desk PC actually fits. I then pre drilled all of the holes that I would need in both sides and both sort of sides of sides, and then added the screws and then pre drilled the holes for the controller box. And screwed that in. Connecting everything up is really simple, it's just a couple of push pins with an RJ45 plug and a 6 pin similar to your graphics card and then a cover over the top as well and then removing the actual you know, standard table legs to go with it and then reattaching the desk PC. After a bit of a tidy up and a hoover since I have made a bit of a mess, I can then go about sorting out the power button for the under desk PC. Now I have some dual core speaker wire that I'm using for this to extend the cable and I'm just cutting in the connection that I've already made and then re-soldering. I'm shaky as hell so I'm, I have no idea how I managed to actually solder this as you can see here but it also does have quite a cool effect with all the flux burning off so I thought I would include this clip but either way I basically just re-soldered the two pins, it's a push to make switch as you'd expect and it literally just bridges a connection you know like you would anyway um, but otherwise that is basically it just adding the switch and then cable managing everything under the desk.
So that is it built, that is the PC maneuvered, and that is basically it finished. Um, there's a couple of things that I still need to do. I still need to attach the USB hub to the side of the desk, probably up near the um, extension lead, and then otherwise I need to actually change that extension lead from a four socket to a five socket one, because I was sort of saturating my connections there as I have one for the light, one for the USB hub, one for the PC, and then one for a monitor. But now the desk also needs one, so I need an extra plug there but uh, otherwise besides replacing that and attaching the USB hub that's pretty much it. Uh, a few notes on what's different and what's cool and whatever obviously the, the initial abil ability to lift the desk up for not only me sitting like this but I can also stand up and have a standing shot with it if I fancy of course for b-roll and stuff like that this is the desk uh, this is the table that I film on so um, and any of the products that you see sort of coming going forward uh, will be filmed on the standing desk so you may see some some interesting shots there um, and otherwise of course just generally speaking having everything attached to the table especially the under desk PC is also pretty nice uh, the other thing that I just noticed um, was that when the PC was over here uh, I was occasionally hitting my knee on the graphics card it wasn't a really big problem I knew to avoid it it's not you know it wasn't every time that I sat down but now that it's over here I actually physically can't hit it unless I'm like desperately trying so um, there's a slight benefit there and also because the IO is now facing outwards under the desk it's actually a lot easier to plug stuff in because when I put it this way I put it facing out but the ledge of the table was actually pretty difficult to get especially the HDMI cable in so now it's a lot easier it's a bit longer of a run for some things but overall I'm generally pretty happy with the setup uh, and I think that uh, this will be very interesting going forwards and of course in theory anyway this is fully reversible so if you don't like a standing desk for whatever reason reason um, the way that I'm suggesting you do it by just literally taking the legs off an existing table and screwing uh, into the bottom obviously none of the screws have come through or anything so you know as long as you're okay with a few holes in the bottom of your table uh, this is a fully reversible process too if you really wanted to now, of course if you have any questions about this project or you know making your own then feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to reply to you I'm not a carpenter and as you've seen I'm not necessarily skilled in basically anything I'm showing here um, I just happen to just about be able to do this sort of stuff, so um, that's that's that, but I'll try and answer as best as I can. Of course, as I said, also, if you want to check out these legs from FlexiSpot, then you can check out the link in the description, and thanks to them for providing them for this video as well. Of course, if you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis, not necessarily these sort of DIY ones, although I do tend to do them every now and again, um, but if you want to see you know, tech reviews, graphics card comparisons or random tech DIY stuff, then make sure you subscribe with the notifications on. Of course, you can check out the links in the description. There's Amazon, Overclock, Shikate affiliate links. Don't cost you anything, but massively help me out, so thank you to everyone who uses them. Also, a massive thank you to all the patrons who support me every month. You can become one and get some cool rewards for doing so. Again, in the links in the description there's loads of other videos over there um, and just a load of other stuff there's merch if you want to check out t-shirts hoodies stickers a load of other stuff and even bitcoin donations because some people you know use that and, and ask for that so if you fancy it you know bitcoin is just plummeted so there you go um, but otherwise that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed it as I said any questions leave them in the comments down below and i'll see you all in the next video